I'm Charlie North, I'm from Stitchbird Boat Company and we've designed a beautiful little boat that you can make at home. My whole motivation was to make the whole process of building a boat nice and simple and accessible to people who might not otherwise build a boat. I sat down and um, got to the drawing board and came up with these dinghies. I really wanted to keep this boat simple. I wanted to make sure that you didn't need tools, um, you didn't need experience, you didn't need to be particularly hands-on. All you needed um, was a bit of a can-do attitude. The computer cut with a computer controlled router, everything fits together precisely. There's no need to fine tune anything or get your chisel out. Uh, it all just slots together. So that really saves a lot of time. The whole idea of these boats is that they're more of an experience than anything. The build process uses cable ties to hold the boat together while the glue sets. Once the glue's set, the cable ties can be removed and the holes that they leave can be filled in. You don't need to use any clamps or screws or any other sort of fasteners. The resin that we supply is a West System product. It's called 610. The epoxy can be applied with the aid of a corking gun. Using the corking gun means that you can accurately shoot the glue exactly where you need it. As the two parts mix, when they go through the nozzle, they begin to react and uh, over the course of 24 hours, the glue fully cures. I didn't think it would be that easy. So once the glue's set, the next step is to remove all the cable ties and sand down any lumps of resin. Once the boat's sanded down, you can fill in the little holes by putting a bit of masking tape on one side and squirting a bit of glue in from the other side. Once they're set, you can sand everything back flush. Sanding's a fairly easy process as long as you pay attention when you're gluing. The glue is really hard. It's much harder than the plywood. Once that's all done, a bead of glue can be laid in along all the joints to cove the joints out a bit and to make the boat watertight. More sanding after that and then we'd move into painting. So we worked closely with, with Altex to come up with a, a kit of paint which includes an epoxy sealer and a varnish for the interior, a sealer primer and top coat for the exterior. The paint kit really takes the hassle out of the painting process because it's all there, the quantities are all correct and everything's ready to go. Yeah, I had a lot of fun and I think this is a great project for family. So when I was younger, I built a boat with my dad and it was an awesome process. We had a lot of fun doing it. And ever since then, I've wanted to come up with something that could give that same experience to families. In my case, Dad had a huge shed full of tools and gear, a wealth of knowledge and experience. That made it really easy for us to take on the project of building a boat. But I know that's not the case for everyone. You get everything you need. Hardware like this towing pintle and the uh, Rollock ferrules come with the boat. This particular boat can be rowed along with a pair of oars so the rower can sit in the front seat here. The transom's reinforced at the back here so you can put a small outboard on it. And we've got a couple of fishing rod holders in the back too that you can drop a fishing rod into. The keel's quite, quite a deep keel at the back here so it, it rows surprisingly straight for such a small boat. The sides of the boat are four mil thick, the bottom's six mil. So it ends up being quite light. All the plywood's marine grade plywood, BS 1088 spec. So it's gonna last well, especially if it's painted with the um, marine paint kit that we supply. It's got a hardwood keel through the middle here. So that's nice and durable and strong. That's the backbone of the boat. This dinghy will take a two and a half horse outboard quite nicely. Yeah, I didn't really think I could build a boat, but this one was really easy to make and it's really nice. If you want to know more, you can jump online and check them out at stitchbird.nz. This has been Charlie North from Stitchbird. Thanks heaps for watching. I'm Sarah L from Boat in New Zealand. 
Thanks for watching us today and make sure you subscribe to keep up with the latest.